Hello, lovely people of the internet, and welcome to my first tutorial! Today, I want to walk you through how to create corrugated ribbing. Corrugated ribbing is a colorwork technique that creates alternating stripes of two colors, and these stripes are knit into a ribbing pattern. In this case, you can see that I've done my knits in the main color, purple, and the pearls in my contrasting color of orange. Now, there are a few ways that you can knit this. Specifically, you can knit this as you would any other strand of color work by holding onto both strands of yarn all the way around the row. This is not what I'm showing you today, however, because I find this method difficult and fiddly, particularly because of how I personally purl. This tutorial is shown in continental style knitting because that is how I knit, but the principle of what I'm showing you is the same for other knitting styles as well. So basically, all you're going to do is knit with just one color at a time. Starting with my main color, I'll knit all the knits and slip all the orange purl stitches. Effectively, what this technique does is make you knit two rows for every one row of pattern. That makes this technique time consuming, but it is a much more straightforward way to work these stitches. I'm sure you understand the idea here, but let me also show you how to do the contrasting color stitches. Once you've done all your knits and you come to the last two stitches, which should be contrasting color pearls, you don't do anything differently, just slip these as normal. Then drop your main color yarn. Uh, hopefully you haven't let yours get all tangled like mine. I swear this tangling isn't usually such an issue, it's just that I was focused on the camera more than the knitting. Bad knitter. Bad knitter. Okay, <laughs> there we go. You're going to pick up the contrasting color yarn and slip the first two stitches. The key thing with these purling sections is that you need to make sure that you are putting the yarn to the back of the work whenever you slip your knit stitches. If you don't, you'll end up with this large float that completely ruins the effect of the ribbing. I'll show you just a few more stitches. And that's all! Please pop down in the comments and let me know what you thought of my first ever tutorial, and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see a tutorial on. I'll see you guys in the next one.